بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نو وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ انڈیپینڈنٹ ایونٹس اینڈ ڈیپینڈنٹ ایونٹس ان پروبیبلٹی سو فرسٹ وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ انڈیپینڈنٹ ایونٹس وین ٹاسنگ اے فیئر کوائن ٹوائس دا ریزلٹ آف دا فرسٹ ٹاس ڈزنٹ افیکٹ دا پروبیبلٹی آف دی آؤٹ کم آف دا سیکنڈ ٹاس اینڈ وائس ورسا then it is called independent the events are called independent events the event getting ahead in the second toss is independent of the event getting ahead in the first toss when drawing two cards from a deck of 52 playing cards the event getting a king on the first card and the event getting a black card are not independent because if you are drawing a king and you get a king of black then the probability of getting the black card will change the probability of the second card after the first card is drawn is changed so in this case the in events are not independent but if you replace the card you put back uh, put back the card and or the return the card in the deck to the deck in that case the uh, events will become independent so it, it depends whether you have replaced the card or not if you have replaced the card then the the events become independent and if you do not replace the card in that case getting a king and getting a black card are not independent so this is the difference between dependent and independent events there is an example of dependent event over here suppose you play soccer and uh, like to be a goalkeeper but that depends on who is the coach on that day for that match particular match so with coach sam your prob- probability of being goalkeeper is 0.5 and with coach alex your probability of being goalkeeper is 0.3 and uh, the probability of sam to be coach on that uh, day is 6 out of 10 so with the prob uh, it the probability is 0.6 so how do we represent the this this data over here in uh, tree form so uh for you to uh, to be goalkeeper we represent with o and uh for uh sam to be the coach the probability is 0.6 and for alex to be the coach is 0.4 and uh, then we see add up uh, the branch over here which is uh the which is the probability of uh, becoming the goalkeeper so in case if uh, sam is the goalkeeper because this is what says with coach sam your probability of being goalkeeper is 0.5 so this is your success say it is success or yes in that case the probability of yes is 0.5 so the probability of no is 0.5 because 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5 but in case the coach is alex in that case the probability of being goalkeeper is 0.3 so in that case the probability of yes is 0.3 and probability of no is 0.7 1 minus 0.3 is equal to 0.7 so we can uh, can represent uh, these uh, probabilities and dependency of these probabilities with this tree diagram as well so when do we add the probabilities if the events are mutually exclusive means that a intersection b is is equal to null then we add the probabilities of the events whenever we have got events which are mutually exclusive then we simply add up the probabilities so suppose that uh, events a b c and d are mutually exclusive in that case if we want to uh, Uh, what we want to find the union or or of uh, these 
events so then we simply add up these uh, probabilities but if the events are not mutually exclusive in that case we not we just not only add the probabilities but we subtract the probability of intersection of the events as well here for example we have got two events a and b so in this case the a union b will not be just that you just add up uh, probability of a with probability of b but you need to subtract this probability of an a intersection b as well and why is that so because uh, probability of A inst inst uh, intersection B is subtracted because it is common between events A and B. Uh, this, uh, of course, they are not mutually exclusive. Events A and B are not mutually exclusive. So there must be some events which are present in both A and B. So we have to subtract those uh, common uh, events and how do we find uh, common elements or common uh, you can may say outcomes so how do we subtract those common outcomes we simply take the intersection of events a and b when the events are independent of each other we multiply the probabilities of the events so let events a and b be independent of each other then probability of in intersection B is simply probability of A multiplied by probability of B. The above equation can also be used to test the independence between the two events. So suppose we take uh, the example of a communication system, digital communication system where we are sending uh, the bits uh, 0 and 1. So suppose the user sends ones with probability p and zeros with probability one minus p. So the number of ones and number of zeros sent in a set of data is p and one minus p. So if suppose the probability of ones is 0.5, then zeros is point uh, also 0.5. One minus p is equal to 0.5. So the probabilities or probability of one is higher. Suppose it is. 0.7 in that case the probability of zeros is 0.3 the receiver randomly makes error in detection of the received bit with probability e here it is possible that the, re uh, the receiver makes the error in detecting the received bit so the received bit i can be 0 or 1 as we have said over, uh, over here uh, because the user is sending ones and zeros therefore i is equal to 0 or 1 let A be the event, now we are interested in event A, where the receive bit was I. The bit which we received was I. This is the receive bit. And let BI be the event uh, which is receiver decision was I. It means uh, 0 was sent and receiver also received, uh, detected, it, detected it as one, uh, 0. If 1 was sent, then the detection is also 1. So find the probabilities of P A I intersection B J for I is equal to 0 comma 1 and J is equal to 0 comma 1. So here this is the transmission bits probability whether it is uh, 0 is sent or 1 is sent and here the receive bits probability. So suppose 0 was transmitted and the probability that the receiver will uh, uh, detect it correctly is 1 minus E and E. E is the correct detection with error sorry so E is the error and 1 minus E is the correct detection 0 was sent and 0 is detected so it is 1 minus E because here E is representing the probability of making the error and this is if a zero was sent but one is detected so this is error and <coughs> similarly over here one was transmitted and uh, the detector uh, or receiver detected it correctly and it's uh, one so it is one minus e and if error is made so it is e 
so here, here you can say uh, here you can see that uh, e is 1 and here e is 0 because the, it depends on the transmitted bit if 1 was transmitted in that case error is 0 and if 0 was transmitted in that case error is uh, error, uh, detection error is 1 so the probability of detecting the correct bit is 1 minus p into 1 minus e it, because these two events are independent to each other so we what we did we simply multiplied them as we said over here p in a intersection b is equal to p a into p so simply multiply 1 minus p with 1 minus e over here and here we multiplied in case of error 1 minus p into e and similarly here p is multiplied by e and here p is multiplied by 1 minus e so we get the probability that 0 was transmitted and 0 was received the pro what is the probability that 1 minus p 1 minus e 0 was transmitted and 1 was received is 0 intersection b 1 1 minus p into e 1 was transmitted and 1 was received p into 1 minus e and 1 was transmitted 0 was received is a intersection b 0 in is equal to p 